Okay, so our next uh, section of the article uh, goes on to talk about uh, English language and how uh, English language has uh, become the uh, second language uh, in the world. Now, um, just from a historical perspective, uh, this was not always the case and uh, may not continue to be the case in the future. So uh, before English became a popular world language, uh, previous to that, it was uh, French. Uh, most of the diplomatic legal uh, paperwork uh, was uh, written uh, in French. Before that, it was probably Latin, uh, going back to the uh, Roman Empire. Uh, so, but English is the uh, the big kid on the block right now. But uh, in the future, uh, your kids and your grandkids will uh, have to know three um, international uh, languages for trade economics, job opportunities. Now, uh, due to the computer, um, English is going to be around for a long time. But up and coming will be two other languages. One will be uh, Mandarin, or Chinese, uh, basically because of its population, it's a growing uh, middle class and uh, trade. So your kids and grandkids should know a little bit of Mandarin. And the third international language will be uh, Spanish. And uh, because of the uh, natural resources, uh, untapped natural resources, in South America. So as countries need more natural resources, um, they will have to go to South America. And if you wanna do business there, it's Spanish. Okay, so just a quick little background. Our article continues with this, the English language. In the 1800s, the American author Mark Twain once remarked, there is no such thing as the Queen's English. The property has gone into hands of a joint stock company and we own the bulk of the shares. Today, close to 70% of all native English speakers are American, dwarfing all other groups. A constant stream of American TV, films, songs, computer games, and websites have spread American words and expression far beyond its borders. So here again, uh, the popular culture's uh, influence on language. Even so much, um, uh, when you text your friends, you use those uh, text abbreviations BF, uh, BFF, uh, so forth. That's all part of it. Perhaps uh, the most obvious example is the expression OK, adopted by languages everywhere. OK, so we all know this. OK, okay that's American expression, and everybody uses it around the world today. Uh, the sheer volume uh, American English has gradually replaced the British variety as the accepted international standard. In fact, it has even made inroads into British English itself, replacing words like stupid with dumb and angry with mad. Okay, so that's true. Uh, it is the young who are particularly likely to pick up 
American slang through songs, films, and TV. And not everyone is happy about this, and rightfully so. Many view the kind of language that gangster rap singers use on MTV as obscene and vulgar. I agree. But as they say in America, that comes with the territory, unfortunately, also true. Much of a American popular culture shoots from the lowest common denominator. And sometimes that can be very low indeed. An estimated 2 billion uh, speak some form of English, and most of those have the American variety as their model, now that it's a cultural influence. Okay, so mm, yeah, it's true. Some of the materials that have come out of uh, American uh, music uh, in its form of uh, gangster rap. Um, I listened to a song by, I think he's called The Weeknd. And uh, yeah, it was it was uh, pretty good. The, the video about him singing in a bar room uh, catches on fire. People are throwing things at him. Okay, yeah, okay, that was fine. Pretty tame. And then I listened uh, to some of his other uh, videos, and I was absolutely shocked. And uh, I couldn't believe that my high school students were actually watching this. It was. Uh, Total embarrassment. So, what they have said in this uh, article about obscene and vulgar, yeah, it's true. So, um, let's try to stay away from that if we can. That would be good. All right. So, uh, let's take a look at a, uh, a video on uh, the uh, progression of uh, English language throughout the world. And uh, we need to give credit where credit is due. It really starts with the British expansion of its uh, territories uh, in the early uh, 17th uh, century. And America just kind of picked up where uh, they left off uh, after World War II. And then it's uh, influenced through uh, popular culture. So uh, take a look at that video. And we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, so our article goes on to uh, continue uh, with a, a couple paragraphs on uh, the media. And it goes on to say, turn on the radio, check the TV listings, look what's playing at the local cinema pull out a computer game, or just go online and search for a nice chat room. Do any of these things, and within a short time, you'll run into American cultural influence. Why does America have such a reach in this media? One answer is market. The United States has a domestic market of over 300 million people in addition to a potential global market of more than 2 billion English speakers. That means Americans can profitably produce a great many TV programs, films, songs, computer games, and other products for use at home, and then export the same programs abroad at very low prices. No other country has this advantage in both numbers and language. Another reason is innovation. It is often in the United States that new forms of communication have either been invented or perfected. TV broadcasting is a good example of this. In the 1950s, American TV networks produced a zoo of new program types, including game shows, soap operas, mystery shows, westerns, and of course, situation comedies or sitcoms. 
that were later exported internationally. Something that's happened recently in the last about 10 years is the uh, International uh, Talent Show. Uh, America's Got Talent. So actually that started out as uh, a British uh, TV program. And then America took a hold of it and uh, sent it around the world. So that, in fact, uh, individual countries now have their own. Uh, let's say uh, Norway's got talent or uh, France has got talent, uh, kind of a franchise of this. America's got talent, same format, judges, okay, contestants, golden buzzers, that sort of thing. So at the end of this uh, uh, little slide here, we have an example of that uh, from Sweden. A young uh, contestant takes an American song by uh, Stevie Wonder, and uh, she sings it on uh, Sweden's Got Talent and gets the uh, golden buzzer. Okay, so let's uh, continue on with uh, this uh, short thing on media. Uh, later, cable TV expanded the variety and quality of American shows, creating international bestsellers. And it also set the foundation for its first international news network, CNN, Cable News Network. Uh, perhaps the easiest example to recognize is the phenomenal rise in the use of personal computers and the World Wide Web over the decades. Both were pioneered in the U.S. and eventually spread worldwide, carrying American cultural influence with them. So just a quick uh, sidebar note on that. If you go to any uh, international airport, while you're waiting for your flight, the TVs that are on in those waiting areas, what do they carry? CNN News. Okay. All right, let's continue. Uh, yes, economics and innovation have their place in the story, but hey, so does style and quality. The fact is that American programming is popular. Its successful appeals to the emotions and interest of a global audience. Sitcoms like King of Queens and Everybody Loves Raymond, hospital dramas like ER or House have made fans around the world because they stick to the basics. They portray regular people everyone can recognize and identify with however dramatic or fanciful the situation they find themselves in. American culture celebrates the commonplace, the average, the universal, and as a result, it has gained a universal audience. Okay, so getting right back to what we've talked about before, about the common man as a theme uh, runs deep uh, through its uh, media and uh, international uh, popularity of that media uh, overseas. So um, at, uh, let's take a look at that uh, Sweden's Got Talent uh, video piece, and we'll move on to our next slide. 